Namaste. Thank you for clicking on this video. I will try my best to make your time worthwhile here. This is a part two of my Tesla Model 3 Model Y tips and tricks series. Thank you so much for all your support on part one of the video. Thanks for all the subscription, likes, comments, feedback that I have received. I really, really appreciate your time. If you haven't checked that video out, I'll put a link up here as well as in the description below. So make sure to check that video out. Today is another packed video that is going to cover a lot of tips and tricks for Tesla Model 3 and Model Y and probably other Teslas as well. Today I'm going to be talking about tips and tricks on Tesla's Smart Summon. I'll talk about how to know when a supercharger is coming near your area, follow through the construction updates, permits and whatnot. I'm also going to be talking about Tesla's remote start feature and there's just so many topics that I will be covering on this video. So be sure to check out the whole video so you don't miss any tips and tricks. If you're new here, my name is Shiva Sapkara. I'm an engineer out here in Colorado, USA. I make Tesla videos covering wide range of Tesla topics, tips and tricks, all software updates and much more. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much. I really appreciate your time. Let's get started. Has this ever happened to you where it says auto steer unavailable for rest of the drive? This is Tesla's way of putting you on a timeout that you repeatedly ignore autopilot warnings. Basically right now I'm trying to recreate the problem where you see it is telling me to put my hand on the steering wheel. I'm paying attention to the road. I'm just not touching the steering wheel and it keeps giving me that warning for a little bit and then it finally puts me on a timeout where that red thing appears and all of a sudden the emergency hazard signs come on and then the car comes to a complete stop. To get out of it, all you have to do is put the car into park. So when you put it into park, the car stops and then put it in drive again and that resets that clock. Now, if you try to put your car in autopilot, it will let you put it in autopilot again. Have you ever wondered what that remote start feature in your Tesla app does? I've always wondered that. So let's try it together and see what happens. All right, I'm inside the car. I have my phone outside of the car. I don't have any key card or anything. So what happens right now when I press on the brake is it, it tells me to tap the key card and press brake to drive. So because there is no keys inside this car. Now watch what happens when I have someone press on the remote start button. In the app, when you press on start, it authorizes your face ID or your password, and then it counts down for two minutes, which I assume is to start driving. It said keyless driving enabled. Press brake and select a gear. So. Now I should be able to drive without a key. Again, no key card, no phones with me. I press on the brake, it starts normally, and if I start driving, it lets me drive. Now let's see what happens if I put it in park. Nothing changed. Am I able to drive again? Yes, I am able to drive again. Now let's see what happens if we go out of the car. So I'm gonna park. Before I go, let me check. I can drive, I can reverse, just as normally as I have a key. Let me get out of the car and try to get back in again. Now it is telling me to tap the key card and press brake to drive. So it looks like it only lets me do it as long as I don't come out of the car. If I try to come back in, it locks me out. I can see this feature being very useful if you want someone to move your car without having to give them your key card or your phone. Do you ever struggle with your turn signal while making a lane change? For example, now right now it is blinking towards the right. Now if you want to get rid of it, and you press towards the left. Now it is all of a sudden indicating that you're gonna make 
a left turn, which is not right. All you wanted to do was get rid of that right turn. The easier way to do this is right now it is facing towards the left, right? Press on the same direction again, but lightly. So watch what this, how, how this works. So now you're gonna press lightly and the turn signal went away. Let's try that with the right signal. Now it is indicating the right signal. To turn it off, simply tap on the right again. So, and it goes away. I have been asked by many people on how to get additional username and password for your Tesla. So if you share your car with your family members or other people, but you don't want to have to log in to their Tesla app on their phone using your login, well, you can get them their own login. To do so, you go to your account page, hit on manage, and this page shows up where if you go to car access right over here, you can hit on add driver, and then you put their first name, their last name, and their email address, hit save, then Tesla will actually send them an email with confirmation about their account creation. They, they have to go through some verification, but they will be able to have their own login after this. Do you ever wonder if there is a supercharger coming near your area? If you go to Tesla's map right here, which is, I mean, gray, it shows all the superchargers. But then if you pay attention to these gray ones, right, it will say that this one in Denver, Colorado is coming soon, target opening in 2020, but it does not give you any info about it, when it is coming, the construction updates, permits or whatnot. And if you want to know more about those superchargers or when you think the supercharger is gonna be done, you can head over to this website called supercharge.info where you can see all kinds of supercharging updates, right? So if you click on map over here, it pops up the map of all the superchargers, right? So this red ones are superchargers that are currently active, the blue ones are permits, and then this cones, the orange cones that you see on these maps are the ones that are under construction. So for example, let's look at this here. This is where I was looking at on the other map right here. It says there's a supercharger under construction in Brighton, Colorado. If I go to Tesla's map over here, there is nothing slated for Brighton, Colorado. But then if I go over here, you can see that there is all kinds of info. It's a 250 kilowatt. It's a V3 supercharger. There is going to be eight installs. It gives you an approximate address. But then interesting thing happened when you click on discuss. So this is a discussion page uh, from the Tesla Motors Club where people have been, you know, taking pictures and putting it in the discussion of what is happening out there in that site. So people are driving around, taking pictures of, look at this, like the construction is about to begin. There's all kinds of discussions on that site. Folks have posted pictures of, you know, construction workers out there at constructing those superchargers. And if we go to the very last page here, as you can see, if we scroll to, there you go. The superchargers are already constructed. They are not activated yet. They still have that yellow uh, tape, but they are they are done and they are they are ready to be used at that point. And this was September 13 of 2020. So as you as you uh, notice, these are user based. So all Tesla drivers uh, driving around, finding about these things and posting in the Tesla Motors Club uh, in that forum. So this is super cool that. You know, it gives you a better idea of when the superchargers are coming and, you know, you might want to plan your trip around that. So this, this gives you a better idea. It's pretty cool. You probably knew that you can bring the car to you in a smart summit, but did you know that you can actually change the target so you can make the car go wherever you want and maybe even auto park one day. But let me show you how that is done. So you can adjust to the fine setting. So if you go to a smart summit, my car is parked right over there. As you can see, that will do this wild turn to get to me. What if we change it so that it doesn't get to me, but as you can see, if as I'm moving the target around, the, the path that is gonna take to get to the target changes. So it updates real time on how it is gonna get there. So if I do go target, 
the car is starting so instead of it coming to me it is going to go park over there and you can follow it real time in the app where the car is going Did you know that if you go to your neighbor's house or if you go walking and don't want to have to take your keys, you can actually use Tesla to open your garage. Just go to control, tap on home link, and then the garage door will activate. Now this only works if you have the home link in your car. Did you know that the sun visor that Tesla had, I mean, it's a great one, but if you take this out and then roll it, it also extends by a little bit. It goes back. Let's end with a fun Easter egg. If you plug in your car and press on that release button 10 times, rainbow charging starts where that light goes through different colors. It's pretty cool. That'll do it for today's video. Thank you very much for your time. I hope this video was helpful. I will be doing another video covering more tips and tricks in the future, part three of this series. So stay tuned for that. If you found this video helpful and if you'd like to follow me on my journey going forward and learn more about Tesla, get tips and tricks or cover other Tesla topics, please consider subscribing to my channel. Your support really means a lot to me and really, really helps bring quality content to all of you. With that, I really appreciate your time. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Namaste.